So my name is Louise. I'm 24. I have a congenital heart disease, which is tricuspid atresia. <laughs> um, I'm on warfarin, aspirin, and a few other things that I take on a daily basis. Um, I work full time. I love to travel, even though my insurance costs me a fortune. <laughs> and I just live life as much as I can. <laughs> my earliest memory is, oh, apparently I was about two, <laughs> and I was taken into a room before going into surgery to get, you know, where they putting in the cannula. They put it in my hands, they put it in my wrists, they put it in my feet, and then they gassed me to sleep. <laughs> and that is my earliest memory and why I'm afraid of needles. <laughs> I don't really think about it, because see, when you're a child, nothing's different. Like, you don't really think you're different. So you don't think about it. You come into hospital, you have your operation, you get better and you leave. So I wouldn't say... I've grown up any differently than anybody else. I know there's been limits, like for like, you know, I've missed out on some school and I've missed out, you know, like maybe PE, I couldn't run as far as anyone else, but I don't feel like I've missed anything really. I would say the older I get, the harder it gets because you think about it more. So, and when you're, when you're wee and you're coming into hospital, like say you don't think about it, it's just routine. But when you're older and you know the consequences of it, it's a bit more like daunting. Um, but I mean, it doesn't stop me doing anything. Like I say, I travel all the time, I dance, um, I do sport, I've got a full time job, and probably I've had like got relationships. It makes me more nervous. Like when I meet new people, I'm quite reserved and shy. It takes me quite a while to tell people about it and, you know, like show my scars and stuff. With having, cause I've had four major surgeries and then countless <laughs> minor. Um, but I wouldn't say it stops me doing anything. Yeah, I think it's scary because I, there's probably not many people with it. <laughs> and <clears throat> like I think about maybe in the future if I'd need a transplant or <clears throat> anything like that, which hopefully I won't, but <laughs> it's all things that you think about. But you just need to take things as they come. No point worrying about it. Sometimes it's scary. I've spent a lot of times in the hospital, you know, a lot more than my friends or, you know, family or anything. But really, it just makes me me. I, like, I haven't missed out on anything. I've done everything I've wanted to do. So it's not, it's not made any difference to my life whatsoever. What I'd really like to do that Dr. Walker wouldn't let me or suggested not to is have family. Because that's what I found out recently, that I can't do that. So that would be my biggest change. And I hope that in the future, something comes up, like medically, that lets that change for me. So that's the thing I wanted the most. <laughs> And I'd say that's the one thing that's put, probably upset me most because I, like I, I, everything I do in life, I do to my, like, as much as my heart will let me, but there's nothing I can do about, about that. Like I, it's my body physically can't cope with it. <laughs> so I hope eventually something will happen that means I can do it.